So you're putting together an asset library inside of Blender. That's fantastic. Let's hop into that. So you have Blender open and you have your beautiful cube here or whatever you want to uh, save inside of your asset library. First of all, let's go into edit preferences. Go down to your asset library and make sure that the folder that you want to save your item inside of is inside of this asset library. Meaning, pick the folder that you saved your beautiful item inside of and go ahead and add library. Now it's going to be red right here. That's because you need to make yourself a title. And that's where you're going to find yourself <clears throat> your beautiful uh, asset that you will put inside of your asset library. Now, to, to designate this item as an asset inside of your asset library, you're going to want to right-click inside of this library right here on your view layer. Right-click and mark as an asset. Are you done? Not quite. Let's save it. Save as. We're going to save it over here where I got all these other things, and I'm going to name this cube with a V. Uh, save as. Now that's saved. So we open up a new file. New file! I'm gonna drag this timeline up and over here let's change this window to asset browser. Shift F1. Inside of this asset browser we do not want the current file. We want to go to where the file you just saved with your cube is asset pack blender that's what it is for me and there's that cube boom save me an asset does this work for materials yes it works for whatever you may put inside of your asset library that's how the asset library works i've been eric polly at herbally.com or ER poly for those of the tame vocabulary. I'll catch you next time. Bangarang.